How's it going people? We are continuing with the Firebase Flutter app development series. We saw in the last video how to use your email and your normal email and password to sign into your uh, Firebase and use it as an authentication mechanism. In this video, we are going to be talking about two important uh, systems in the internet as of now. It's Google and Facebook. We are going to be using these two medias and act, act, act them as a sign-in mechanism and check how it can be useful in our Firebase and Flutter application. Let's start. Or we'll jump straight ahead and learn how to use the Google and Facebook uh, sign in as our uh, in our application. Even before we jump in, I just want to make a quick point. And the Flutter docs or the Flutter examples that are available in the internet is really really short sighted. Uh, it's it's really short shorted in terms of content on how to actually make this work. Um, I've actually had experience working with Android and Firebase and it was a piece of cake. When it comes to Flutter, it has to be working for both iOS as well as Android. And uh, iOS is really, really shorted in terms of content. You, there was literally no documentation on how to make this work for iOS because the application got started getting uh, broken every time I tried to run that and I finally found a way uh, to make this work. So I just make this video as brief as possible in terms of making, giving you the basics of how to make this work and you can go and do all your decorations and make this uh, the ui as, as, as much as you want it to be okay just jumping into the pop demo you're going to be adding the first plugin it's going to be the google underscore sign underscore in we're going to use the 3.2.2 which is the lightest as uh, as of now as i'm making the video uh the next thing is just get use the packages get which is get the package go in here we already have the previous example that you're going to be using from the previous video if you haven't watched it you can go check that out uh, that's coming up right now the next thing is going to import packages package uh, google underscore center this is the package we're going to be using we're going to be using two important classes in that we'll just look at that uh, if you remember from the previous video i had two important text fields one was the uh, email text field and one was the password text field to actually make the normal email uh, email sign in sign up mechanism work for firebase in this video which is i've just removed those, those two text fields since they have one raised button where you, on clicking you are actually asked for a sign in authentication okay we just even before you jump into that we go to our uh, firebase console uh, we just go into the sign in method we have the email password enabled we need to enable our google save the application and you just go back to your android studio we are going to be creating a simple method we'll create a method called sign in using google uh we'll use make use of the attribute call is final google sign in equal to google google all right so first class we're going to be using is the google sign in account we are going to wait for the the pop-up to come up and once the user clicks on the account it's going to return a google sign in account google sign in as an attribute and we're using that in our application so we just go ahead and create a google sign in account with an equal to google we have the attribute here which is going to google sign in and and wait for sign in we have to use an await method here because await operator here because we're going to wait for the user to finish doing his activity and just click on the correct password and you need nothing for that you just make it as wide because you're not going to return anything uh, okay so this is what is going to be used um, the next thing is going to be final google sign in authentication we're going to authenticate using our Authentication is going to return. We have a Google sign in account attribute. How we're going to use that and just confirm if the user is user is actually you're going to get out authentication headers from that. So, which means that we're going to be using those uh, for the next step. Okay, now that I'm right here. Great. So, the next thing is obviously. Uh, we are ready to do our sign in like we did last time. We have Firebase user already. We just create a Firebase user. Maybe if you want to Firebase user, user. Great. So we just say user is equal to 
him or or sign in with Google. We have the Google here. Just click on that, and the ID token is going to be our Google sign in authentication dot ID token, and here it's going to be Google sign in authentication dot access token. Simple as that. So we just done that. On another wait, wait for anything. Great, so we're gonna just then say if user is present, not equal to null, meaning the user is present, we just print sign into Google account. There are a lot of things that this user will return in term in as soon as the user is authenticated using the uh, access token and the ID token. Uh, it's going to it's going to have name, it's going to have ID. All the available things are just linked to the description. I'm not going to do any anything more with this user account user uh, variable here. We'll just ensure that this is done. We'll make sure that uh, this is going to work for our application. Great. So this is where the document is actually failing. This looks simple. Yeah, this is going to be working, but the document is failing in terms of what to actually tell the user. So for for Android this is going to work. This is going to work as simple as that. Okay. For iOS on the other hand, we just have to make a very simple change and uh, we're just going to look at that right now. Open Xcode. If you remember from the first video, we actually did modifications to the uh, Google playlist file, Google hyphen info playlist file. So we're really going to go here and see one important change to the info playlist file. And uh, that's all. Okay, just go to the runner here, run as runner and go to info at playlist when you open it up just right click on it and open it as a source it's already as a source for me but i'm telling you it will not be a source when you open it open it here i will be when i was testing this reality i had the facebook id tag and all but what we are required to do is actually go here and we're required to add this part as such as you can see this will not be available in your playlist file you are required to add this. Uh, I've just dropped this where I found this in the description. You can go check and add this exact thing to your info playlist. And it is important that you add your reverse client ID as given in your Google Hype Service Event playlist. You go open this. You can find the reverse client ID here. Copy this one and put it under this string tag. So when you do that, you are actually communicating with the Firebase saying that this is actually a proper uh, iOS application that is actually authenticated to communicate with Firebase and this is what is missing from the documentation. You can just do that and uh, it's, it's going to work as normal as such. Close it and uh, we'll just make sure that you all do this to your Xcode. It's very very important to the new Xcode. So this is run iOS simulator. It's going to work simple as that for the Android. I just guarantee that it's going to work. We'll just check if it's working for uh, iOS because we just need modification to that. Let's just come up and I'll just run the application and we'll see what happens. While the application is up and running, it is still go on and click on sign in. It's asking for us to give us permission to use the uh, google.com. You just have to give it and it opens the account. We give the account, which will take you to the user, and uh, it's going to store the user in your Firebase authentication like this one. Video. And this is how we're going to do that. Uh, this is how you're going to use your Firebase Google sign in. We just had another quick sign out button. Uh, to make sure that you don't have to actually every time you sign in it's, it's the mechanism is such a way that it's automatically going to sign in the user which was signed once so we just add a sign in mechanism to make sure that everything's working properly and we'll just close out this google sign in sign up mechanism for it all right so i quickly added a sign out button uh, like you saw in the previous up oh, there's another button down uh, next thing we want to do is actually go to create our google our, uh, sign out from the method we to sign out using Google. Okay, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna say we're gonna sign out of the Firebase itself, and we're gonna say wait. And the next thing is we're gonna say uh, then we're gonna. Say MR, we're gonna say we have the Google signing. Uh, 
variable if I find out of that first time just print Currently we haven't signed in and so we cannot sign out with this uh, We just go ahead and I just do a quick sign in, I cannot show you the credentials but I just go do a quick sign in and we will just test this uh, sign sign out button. So I have actually signed in and uh, you cannot see that because I just had to wait fast. So we'll go to the console, you can actually check if the problem is here. You my credentials are up and down because I have actually signed in using Google. We're going to test our sign on button as well. We just do clicks, uh, reload, and just get the sign on button in your time. And on clicking the sign on button, sign on button, it's saying the time is up to three. So when you sign out, the credential will still be there, it's not going to be deleted or anything. But you cannot, when you sign in again, it's going to ask for a new sign in. And this is the mechanism that we're going to use for Google, and I'll use that in our iOS application. Next up, we'll see how to use the Facebook. APIs to actually use uh, sign in sign out of the Facebook account and integrate it with Twitter. All right, next up is the Facebook login that you're going to see. Uh, it is again a problem for iOS. There's actually additional configurations that is not present in the Flutter dog, and we're going to be talking about that. Uh, actually, I've linked the uh, login, I've linked the pub.datlang. Uh, api page below in the description you can go check that out and you will be open to this page here <clears throat> the two things that you have to do for facebook you have to register your application it is an api so you just have to go in register your application uh, i'll just go to the ios site and look at what i have to do in a register application there are a lot of things that you have to do i actually yesterday registered my application so i'll just go in and you can see that my flutter i mean my uh, sample app name is present so i'll just click on that and next up is actually you you the, you can skip the step number two go to step number three you just paste your firebase bundle id like you saw in the uh, first video if you do not know what to do you just open xcode you open xcode you go to your runner.py runner and when you double click on that you will take into your bundle id which is actually present in your google play list you can find your bundle id right here so this is your bundle id just click on that double click on that copy paste it and you can go in and uh, paste it here and just save it the next thing is you don't have to enable anything here and once you do that all of that uh, sample info.plist file is generated so this is what we have to be copy back to our configuration file like we did for google copy this go back to this space here and open it as a source code and like you see we have just the google i removed the facebook so that i can show it to you guys in detail uh, this is just this is only for google so in order to do that for um, facebook as well just go copy paste this here it automatically copy paste whatever is required so next thing is you go down and if you want to copy paste this also you can do that Below. and that's it done so we are ready we are ready for the configuration is done in order to communicate with our facebook api and uh, contact and actually do the uh, login uh, you can go write the code that you need to write go back here and we have the google sign in uh, plugin enabled next what i do is actually use the flutter facebook login plugin which actually is required in one just do that do packages get all right so the package is got and and the next thing we're going to do is import our package dot firebase <coughs> flutter underscore facebook login dot all right great job so we actually have the firebase facebook flutter uh, plugin as well inside our uh, application library uh, we just ask you to create a method here sign in using Facebook Great and you create a method here saying
okay we were using the facebook login class and the next class we're going to use is actually the login result similarly like we used for google have it as a result it's going to be facebook login dot uh, login with mm, pre permissions maybe Is a wait here, so future. All right, so we have successfully logged in. We have the Facebook login result is going to access have the access code that you need. And in order to do that, we need the first five is user. User we say user is equal to Facebook a mod. I already have the attribute up sign in with Facebook. And to get the access token, we got to use the Facebook dot access token. Another wait. Should the access token or token? Great. Moving on. All right. As usual, we will say if user not equal to none, we will say user is locked in. It's better to always put this inside a try catch block. Alright, great. So this is our, this is it. We'll run the application and see what happens. Open the simulator. All right. So when I click on this button, the application is up. When I click on this button, it's asking for me to give permission to use the Facebook.com. I give permission, and as usual, it takes me to a page where I can actually enter. I've actually logged in previously. We went for this. So when I say continue, it's gonna give permission to log me into the five ways and give permission to the letter application to use it and to continue as usual. All right. So that's how it works. Uh, I will give permission to log me in, and we are actually using the uh, Facebook API to make sure that the five ways letter application is contacting with the five ways and not the indicating me that. And that is the two important uh, systems that we talked about. Uh, I'm not going to do the same thing for Android because it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is just modify some string files and uh, add the implementation. There are a lot of resources that are working. This is available. I'm particularly making this in order to make sure that iOS part is not it, it is actually clearly shown to everyone that is struggling to make this work. That's it for me, guys. I hope this video is as informative as I tried to make it as because. Uh, like I told you, it was really, really difficult to make it work for uh, I use a lot of broken information here and there. And uh, if you like this video, do not forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends as well. Uh, do not forget to subscribe because I'm on the gym, gym to make a lot of programming videos and tutorials and it will help me to do so.